Link215 Fair, Let's Talk Battle Rap, Hollow the Don, Tay Rock, Mean Event. Let's just start the video, man. So Tay Rock goes first, right? This was crazy. I wasn't I wasn't really prepared to know what Tay Rock's gonna do because I couldn't like get the pay per view. I had to work. So to see like the whole Caribbean, like Crippy in jerk chicken oxtail, that whole sequence was crazy. It didn't stop there though. Like he just kept going. Like even with the the black mask and flashing stick Star Wars. This is feeling special here. Like this energy is feeling special. Um, the the long nose, like 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 what? Uh, Dana, what? The, I didn't even write down her name. Um, I know it too. Cause fuck, uh, Dana. Tarasi, yeah, Dana Tarasi, the long nose line, great. It's great as well. The Wild Wild West bars though, I'm gonna keep it real, Tay. We don't like those, Tay. It's not a good movie. Not even a good movie to reference. Not a good movie to watch enough time to have punchlines for. You can say you flop like Wild Wild West or you're a waste of time like Wild Wild West, but you can't give me a Will Smithin' like I mean, with that Wild Wild West and then come back with another Wild Wild West line. That was like, that's too much Wild Wild West for me. Like, it just, yeah, let's not do that again. Right? No more Wild Wild West bars from any battle rapper. Let's leave movies that's garbage. Let them just stay dead, all right? <laughs> so we have to that. We had the um the D with the D E and the A R on top like a love letter. I never heard this before. Like I'm like this is special. What I had something flying your head. Like what the fuck is that? That was crazy. This is like I'm listening to this like this energy is crazy right now and it's clean. This was just mean. It was like it's gonna be hard for Hollow to to win it. So Hollow starts the round. Says some Jappy Nipple stuff, like clean the floor with him stuff. That wasn't, you know, it wasn't that crazy. Uh, he does say the um, the 2K line that was crazy. Like, take the fatigue off. I, I want to see the same energy. That was different as well. Something like, okay, Hollow's starting to, to pick up a little bit. He said like a Mayweather line. Then he did the Conor McGregor bar. That's the worst bar of the battle. Like, um, with the... Um, he said, and you, Conor McGregor, because you're trying to beat me, like, with them arm bars. Like, only way you could beat me is with them arm bars. I'm um, sorry, but let's be clear here. Um, Conor McGregor is a stand-up fighter. Um, he's not known to have great jiu-jitsu at all, or judo. So, when you say arm bar, he doesn't submit nobody. He has never submitted nobody in an MMA fight. Um, he only lost his MMA fights by submission. So th that's horrible. Like literally bad line. Like people don't get how bad that line is just bad. It it's like saying somebody just saying something that's connected but not connected. Like like you get blown in the office like you Hillary Clinton. It's like no, Bill Clinton got blown in the office, not Hillary. So no, the line is garbage. So again, that line was horribly bad. Hard, like that's how upset I was. If you would even said a Ronda Rousey bar, since she's only known for winning for arm bars, and at least she's a legend, everybody know her name. That would have made sense. But just using Connor, because you had to say Floyd, it was like, come on, like we better than this. This is next level. This is next level. The summer madness, like that right there, pissed me off. Uh, but he did, he did have some good shit in here though. Oh, we the Blue Moon, the Rolling Rock. You know, bear with me. That was cool. That was cool. Um, I can't see it. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Well, he did the whole you got a job shit with Tay Rock plays with a god. And he said, I could see Tay right now with the red laser. Like, beep. That'd be like two ninety nine, some shit like that. That was funny. That was witty as shit. Anything else of note? Uh, he did have the blueprint bar. Um, like blueprint. Like we were talking about uh, him hanging out with writers and writers helping him. So the blueprint, like like they leaving the written on rock, you know, blueprint Rockefeller. So leap having that too. Then saying that's artifacts, like artifacts, because went back to Tay Rock, you know, keeping them like that. So that was unique. That was unique. It was a, it was a really solid round. It was clean. It was fluent. But um, some stuff didn't hit as hard to me. It just definitely that having that Connor line there just really like just saying what are we doing here? We're not even trying no more. Uh, so Tay, man, Tay say some shit. He. He went into the homeless thing for a minute. Like, you know, you don't need the homeless people. You know, 
y'all get your homeless help. I hope you keep what donating to your homeless yourself. That was that was solid. But when he got to that whole family, like oh, they provide for my family. I got two daughters, and he be like, one's nine and one's one. If I pick up this one nine, he would have to call nine one one. That was just with the energy he gave again. It's like these these lines are different, man. These lines are different. Then he went into the math situation. How you know how he supposed to be loyal to math and the disaster thing for like he he should have did what he did and he kind of in that sequence he's out should punch you in your Luigi's mustache. That was crazy as well. Like his energy was just on a different level. Tay Rock was just being like Tay Rock A1. I feel like this is the best Tay Rock we've seen. You know, where we look at certain battle rappers and they have like that battle, you feel like this is their peak. And can they top that? Or I think this is going to be that battle for Tay Rock. Like A1 Tay Rock is this Tay Rock right here. What else we have after the math situation? He did that whole another cut, another cut. Look like I'm trying to buckle the seatbelt shit. It was like, what are we doing here? Like, this shit is just different. It's just different. He did the what? The did it the nine? What? Make sure, he, like, he won't fit his fitted. Make sure his, his fitted won't fit on. That was crazy, too. The accent, like, talks different was crazy. It was just more energy in this round. And it was even more clean. It just felt like it was a different motive for Tay Rock to be there at this moment. Like, you felt like, I don't see what Hollow can do. So, um, Hollow comes back with a solid rebuttal. Trying to say, trying to say me being homeless is whack and giving, like, this hollow gives something back because it, like, gives back differently. That was cool. What else was really crazy? The legendary bar? Uh, I guess it wasn't a bar, but maybe I, I reached for it to be a bar. He said, you know, I'm legendary. And he wants y'all to be in for me. You know, like, I didn't look at it like in for me. So it was like legendary and like infamy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, forget it. Just forget it. <laughs> Forget it, yeah. So what else? Um, he had the saute, the saute bar, like saute. We grilling me, but every time I hear saute, I think it's too surf. Where he did the whole let's play a game saute, constantly see you cooking your own blood saute. So it's not really his fault. I just why I hear saute come at Tayrock. I feel like that was the better way to do it. So it's just hard for anybody to top that. He kept saying uh the, the crowd like he kept stopping a little bit because the crowd wasn't like giving him proper energy back. So, yeah, he like, come on, guys, let me cook and shit like that. He had some lines after that that was crazy. We said, uh, what, cook for cheap? I mean, get cut. She get cut for cheap. Planet Fitness, that was hot. Um, running through the cave, Indiana Jones, that was crazy. We did the whole chicken pot sequence and say only, can only Tay get it? Can Tay just can take it? That was crazy. That was crazy. He had some shit on here. He started freestyling. He know that he was freestyling when he freestyled the Spreeway line. The sp Spreewell line, sorry, that was crazy. Spreewell, you stop, go. That shit was bananas. So like, I was like, damn, freestyle that like shows his level of his freestyle ability. Why he's one of the best, you know. So that round was okay. All right, sorry if um the audio went up and down. I had to stop the video. Some dumb shit just happened. But um, let's get back to um the round. Hollow just ended his second. So we're going into the third, right? Um, so. Tay Rock starts saying some shit. He got in this disrespectful bag, um, this random shit bag like Hollow normally does, like Arsenal does. So he went into that like format of rapping, and he did the whole. We said, "I hope your mom took a ride with Queens Flip." That shit was it was just funny. He did the whole 444 before the whole drop him out and kept with the Jay Z line of references. We say, you know, like Jay Z kids, I'll leave your baby blue when I raise these twins. Oh, um, oh! I grabbed these two. Sorry about that. That was crazy. He did the. He did a um, interesting like the whole koala, the koala, the grizzly, panda bear with me, the polar bear sequence. You know, so it's it's funny how they have two different bear with me, but one was like the actual bear, one was like drinking bear. So that's that just I don't know something to poke out. What do we else we have here that was unique? It was um, what he said. <laughs> Well, he said, what, I take Hollow's gun from him and I put, like, well, hollow toast, like, hollow toast in his mouth, like, hollow toast is hot toast in his mouth. That was just different, man. Like, Tay Rock had lines in this battle that was just different. Like, really, really different. It's like, he, this right here, he just, he reached a new level. Definitely for me as a viewer. Like, I'm like, this is crazy, right? 
So we have Hollow going. I feel like this is Hollow best round. Hollow does a rebuttal sequence in the beginning, talking about rebuttal and everything, and uh, for, like people who battled that night, saying some lines that was still to me Japanese simple, simple, but as a rebuttal, it was good. If you look at it that way, but it's written, it was like okay. Then he started the whole sequence with like nigga duh. That sequence was funny. We went but like did it like three times. I believe it ended with the milk line, like smack is milking you, you're not even getting two percent. That was crazy. He has some other stuff in here that was I thought legendary lines that like he said the whole life is not a remote, you gotta get up and change. That's like a that's that's deep right there. That's some real shit. Some real shit. And when he said the whole like, bro, why, why do we lie as rappers? That was how, too, I set that up. After that, like, he kept going to, like, this whole, like, truth, like, Trump's all type rap. And, you know, he's saying he's going to win a battle of life. Basically, I ain't trying to try to sun, but trying to go to the schooling phase of, like, a battle. And I think he did nice, and he tried to force t Rod to show emotion, because he did do that whole, like, look at your emotional, get him lux. That was hot. This man of rhythm was really good in this third round. Like saying, you don't even need to stay in here. You can leave. Like, we, we don't need you here for this part of the round. I thought that stuff was unique. I thought that stuff was different. I thought Hollow really showed something in the last round. But I feel like it wasn't enough. Like, this battle, to me, clearly goes to Tay Rock. And that's shocking. Cause a lot of people going in went for Hollow because they look at the versatility. But now looking like how good... Tay Rock would be like Tay Rock standing up to that type of opponent and the angles he took and the lines was just so different, man. Like that was just so different. It was just like this is crazy. This is his pin has got even better and he had a solid pin. Tay Rock is scary and the home versus disaster to me is I'm more excited and I always I always felt Tay Rock was gonna take that battle anyway based on so on this battle I didn't see it yet. But the things that happen in this battle I I think can happen in the Tay Rock battle. I keep saying Tay Rock twice. In a disaster battle with Tay Rock, like um, he would do too many type of things, and Tay Rock would stay on one thing, talking about you, even though it's about killing you, but rapping about you in general, not going off the subject. Again, I think this was a good battle. I think his replay ability is there. I think Hollow has some lines that's really taken note of, like like some really good lines. Like that remote line is it's a like that shit belong on a T-shirt. You know, life is not a remote. You gotta get up and change. That's some shit right there. That's some D shit. But then he had the fucking Conor McGregor bar that makes no sense fucking at all. Like Con Conor McGregor, only way you can beat me is with these bars when Conor McGregor doesn't even do arm bars, man. That's just that's just garbage. But again, man, I don't even know what to say. Kai like said that's the thing. But the thing is, Tay Rock has it's been elite for a while. But this battle right here defies his eliteness. Um, beating somebody like Hollow the Don, but really showcasing that. The rounds he had, after he wrapped them, it felt like, what can Hollow do? You didn't hear the round and go, Hollow could get this. And if you know if he don't get it, it's just he didn't try rounds. The first two rounds from Tay Rock can go, oh, this is scary. I don't I don't see what he can do to unless he got a crazy rebuttal. And his rebuttals was good tonight. It wasn't crazy though. There was okay to good. It was nothing great. It was nothing legendary about them. So I go. Fuck it, I'm going to go 3-0. I think a lot of people are going to go 2-1. I think Hollow third round was the best round. But I think in the beginning of this round, it, it was kind of dull until he said the whole, like, nigga duh line. And the lines, I guess he tried to real rap them about, I don't think it was factual. Like, I'm winning the battle with life, so, okay, that's cool. Um, you say, yeah, because you always say you got enough money to provide for your family. But it's like, okay, what's, that's not a really, um, a, I don't know, it's not a thing to clown about. So, I thought it was, I thought it was nice. I thought it sounded good. But it didn't um, hurt. It didn't feel like it hurt the credibility of Tay Rock. And I feel like Tay Rock had more more different lines in that round. Like the Holotosis line is just crazy to me. So I could see somebody saying hollow third round. I mean, I won't be mad at you. I'd be like, yeah, I get that. I mean, you probably could lean me to go that way too. But it's just, I didn't see nothing that made me really want to give him the third. Compared to definitely the refs he had previously. Like in the past, like he's... I don't know, he rapping like this now, stuff rapping like that, like he used to rap. And to me, he just didn't show up ready. Or he didn't think Tay couldn't beat him any way possible. So I'll go 3 0 Tay Rock. Comment, my man. Um, smack that subscribe button. Hit that little Liberty Bell. Philly! This link 215. Catch you in the next video.